Hi dear students, in my last video I was explain about uh, uh, domain of function and in this video I will explain how can we find the range of function. So uh, to find the range of function first we uh, need to find the domain of this function. So I already explained for finding the domain of function whenever uh, the term uh, comes uh, in our the term comes in our function which is included the radical sign so then the, red, the term under the radical sign should be positive must be positive it means the term under radical sign is greater than to zero so uh, to, to find the domain of this function first we have to find first we have to find domain of f of x so to find the domain of f of x i already explained in my pre uh, in my previous videos uh, that whenever we find the domain of function and uh, the radical sign comes uh, in our function the radical term is comes in our expression then the the term under the radical sign must be greater than equal to zero we we give uh, to uh, we give uh, this uh, to input to this function uh, that make this uh, that make this uh, remains positive uh, so to domain of this f of x i write it directly because i already explained it so domain of f of x is uh, is from 1 to positive infinite so 1 is included in uh, the domain of f of x because uh, so the, whenever we put uh, uh, the number that is uh, less than 1 so then uh, let's suppose we put uh, 0 here uh, whenever we put 0 here so 0 minus 1 minus 1 and it, 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 it becomes a complex number so that's why uh, we not consider the complex number in our domain because we give uh, the input values from set of real number then our output values also should be from set of real number so that's why uh, we not uh, uh, includes the number that make this expression uh, complex so that is a domain of uh, function uh, so the main purpose of my this uh, video is to find the range of uh, my function so to find the range of function of this function uh, range is depends on my domain my set of domain set of domain means set of input values and range means range means range means set of all output values so a range means set of all output values and our output values are depends on output values sorry output values are depends on my input values input values mean set of domain so that's why whenever uh, we have to find the range of function then we must know about the domain of the function so first we can include the domain and then on the behalf of domain we can find the range of my function so uh, this is my domain this is it means we have to give the input from this the input to f of x from this set so uh, the first element of this set is one so whenever we put one in the place of x so what should be our output uh, let's suppose we put one here one minus one it becomes zero here and that is equals to 2 so 2 is our output value it means uh, it belongs to our range set and uh, uh, there's no element there's no uh, the element uh, that is very uh, previous to 2 included in our domain our range because uh, here we've 
put the first element of our domain then this is this should be our first element of our range so our range is starting from 2 then ever I put 2 in the place of x at 2 belongs to our set of domain so whenever we give the input 2 from set of in domain then 2 minus 1 2 plus 2 minus 1 1 square root 1 is 1 and it becomes 3 so similarly when we give it the, the value uh, 3 4 5 it give us the uh, greater values 3 4 5 and epsilon uh, infinite so that's why the range of this function is range of this uh, function f of x is uh, start from 2 up to positive infinity so this is the range of f of x that is range of f of x so basically uh, our range is depends on the set of domain the set of input values so uh, this is the example or uh, just yes, a very simple example to understand uh, what means of range so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press icon button thank you very much for watching my videos